Hey guys, Mr. B here. Um, bringing you another short little video. This one's going to be on graphing inequalities. Uh, just recently, what we've been doing in class, myself and Mr. Elliot. Um, so the first thing that we really do graphing inequalities is to look at what type of sign we have. So in this case, we have a less than sign. If we have a less than or a greater than sign, um, then we should be thinking that we have to make a hollow dot on our number line. And if we have, say, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, then we should make a shaded dot. The reason being is this tells us, this tells us that, um, this tells us right here that the actual number is not included in the solution. And this one tells us that the number is included in the solution. All right, well, you'll see in a second when we do this example. Let me get rid of this stuff. All right, here we go. So I have x is less than 3. So let me just make a number line. Let me get a color here. So here's my number line. And usually what I'll do is when I'm making a number line on a test or something, I usually pick the number for inequalities. I'll pick the number that's there and put it right in the middle. So 3. And then I just put a couple numbers on either side of it. So 3, 4, 5, and then 2. So, uh, you got to remember as you go further to the right on the number line, the numbers go up. If you go left, the numbers go down. All right, so if you go left, the numbers go down. If you go right, the numbers go up. So, we have a less than sign, so that tells us that we have an open circle in our solution on the graph. So that tells us that 3 is not included in our solution. And that kind of makes sense, right? If I put 3 in for x, 3 is not less than x. Okay, th or so 3 is not less than 3. 3 is equal to 3. So that's why we have to have an open dot. It tells us that we can get really, really close to 3, 2.999999, but we can't get to 3. So then to figure out which way I had to shade, I had to pick a couple numbers. So let me pick 4 first, and I'll sub it in for x. So it looks like this. 4 is less than 3. Is that true? Absolutely not. It's not true. So this is no good. So we're not going to shade to the right. We're not going to shade this way. So let's pick a number to the left. So we have 2 is less than 3. Well, no. Well, yeah, actually, that's true. 2 is less than 3. So we have to shade to the left. So we shade this part. So that tells us any number less than 3 satisfies our inequality it makes it work and a little hint that I give my students is that when the variable comes first the less than sign or the greater than sign points in the direction like this less than sign is sort of pointing in that direction that sort of tells us that we have the shade this way okay so this one we have a greater than or equal to sign so let's start out by making our number line here we go here's my number line I'm gonna put negative 4 in the middle now this is where it gets tricky when you have some negatives here, so remember, negative 3, negative 2, and on this side I have negative 5, negative 6. Remember, this way, left, numbers go down. They look the opposite way for negative numbers. So I have a uh, greater than or equal to sign, so I put a circle around it, and then I'm going to shade it in, because I have the equal to part, and if you think about it, negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4, so that comes in the or equal to part, greater than or equal. So then I think about, um, let's pick a couple test points. So I'll pick negative 3. Is negative 3 greater than or equal to negative 4? Well, yes, it is. So then I can shade to the right. Or if I looked at my sign, it's pointing that way. The variable comes first, it's pointing that way. So then I can shade this way. So that's what my graph looks like. All right, let me try one more at you. Throw one more at you here. So I got negative 2 is, or sorry, negative 2 is less than x. So this is a little different. So let's start by drawing our number line. And put negative 2 right in the middle. Then negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 4. So there's my number. Uh, 
it's, it's less than, so I can put an open circle around negative 2. Then we got to figure out which way to shade. So if I look at it, let's pick a couple test points. So negative 2, less than negative 1. Yes, it is. That's true. So that means we have the shade to the right. And if you think about it, the variable doesn't come first. You shade in the opposite direction of what way the arrow is pointing. So we're pointing this way that time. It means we shade that way because the variable, this guy, doesn't come first. Um, I hope it makes sense, guys. Um, just really think about it. Take a test point, like a test number, like I chose negative 1. You could choose negative 3 and show that it doesn't work. If I choose negative 2, it's less than negative 3. Well, that's not true. So that just reinforces the fact that we have the shade this way. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. And if there's any questions, feel free to ask me or comment on my video. Thank you very much.